everyone <laughs> what's up guys it has been a minute since I have picked up the camera and have been vlogging but this is a special occasion because this is my one vacation and two birthday vlog so I'm definitely gonna be taking you guys along throughout my birthday festivities come on pookie but starting the week off I'm just chilling at home in Tallahassee so Pookie's here with me. We had to take his mother to the doctor, so that's where I'm at right now. And then we're gonna be running around, getting some stuff for tomorrow's birthday dinner for my sister-in-law and myself. So the camera's about to die. I just wanted to come in and check in with you guys, let you guys know what you're gonna be seeing. I hope you guys are ready and excited for this vlog. Like I said, it's been forever since I posted one. Pookie, are you excited? Yes. Okay. <laughs> So it is official. Hi T is pregnant. Aren't you? So we're here for breakfast. We are at some bagel place. Where are you going? I don't know. There's a door right here. We're gonna get breakfast. It's about 12 o'clock. Like we know 12 something wants to be one o'clock actually. Let's get some food. You know. gotta practice so you can be like Diggy Cheyenne and you can vlog. I already know how to vlog. <laughs> uh, we are outside. We got some food right now, guys. So we're getting in the car. Right here. Okay. Okay. Buckle up. So. Buckle it. I'm gonna buckle up right now. We're in the car. Oh, see right now. It looks like a pretty plain drain. Wait for one second. All right guys, so I just made it back home. I wanted to, one, show you guys my OOTD for the day, and then two, run through what it is that I got um, today at the mall. I was not supposed to go to the mall, but I ended up at the mall. So. We're just gonna see really quickly what I did again. Go. So first, I wanted to show you guys my OOTD because I got a couple compliments today, and I think it looks really, really cute. <laughs> Let me share with you guys what I'm rocking today. Okay, so excuse my room, it's quite a mess, but it's gonna be cleaned. But anyways, I got this top here with these like trumpet sleeves from, where did I get this from? Kohl's. It was from Kohl's. It was an actual complete jacket. I ended up literally just cutting it this morning. So I just snipped it off. It came to about here, I want to say. And I think it just looks a lot more flattering this way. It was just really boxy and all that stuff. So this morning I cut it. Um, then I'm just rocking these high-waisted black trousers um they're really really comfy actually they're super stretchy like super duper stretchy and they're just really flattering so i really like that and then for my shoes i'm just wearing some booties i actually got these from just fab i want to say onto the pile so tomorrow is actually going to be our birthday dinner. When I say our, I'm referring to my sister-in-law and mine's. Her birthday, Heidi, is on the 10th. Mine's on the 11th. So hers is Thursday. Mine is Friday. So I'll be actually leaving town Thursday afternoon. So we decided to go ahead and push the dinner up forward to Wednesday. We have this like damn near every single year. Every year for my birthday, we host like a little family dinner. And this year, being that we got my new place and all that stuff, we're hosting it here at the apartment. So I had to get some stuff to decorate the apartment. And I got a couple of items from Party City for the decor, as well as a couple of things for this weekend when we go out of town. So the theme for the dinner is going to be mint, gold, and white and pink. So mint gold, white, and pink. So I got these plates from, I want to say Michael's. They're from the Martha Stewart collection. Um, and I just thought they were really cute. So these are the plates here. We also got a couple of place cards. I know it's just my family, but I wanted to be fancy and cute with it. So got some place cards. And yes, everyone will have assigned seating. Then I also went ahead and just got a pack of 50 candles because I do want to kind of just have candles throughout the entire table i think that'd just be so beautiful i do plan on having just nothing but candlelight for the dinner so got this i also got these here and these are actual candlesticks i think they were these are so adorable like they're literally adorable the material on these things not the material but the print on these candlesticks i think were just so gorgeous so i thought i would have four throughout the table and then i would kind of have these just like surrounding the candlesticks if that makes sense I got some utensils here, so because who wants to wash dishes, of course, not I. I 
ended up getting these. I had they had the cutest little like wine glasses in a sense. I don't want to say wine glasses, but they were kind of similar to wine glasses. And but the issue is we're having a total of ten people over for dinner, and they only had eight in a pack, and I was not gonna sit here and spend like what twenty dollars on just two packs of cups that I'm gonna be throwing away after this whole thing. So I decided to just getting this one here. They're kind of smaller, much smaller actually, but this is what they look like here. Just clear with like a gold trim on top and they came with a pack of 20 so i thought that would be perfect so got the cups like i said the theme for the dinner is going to be mint gold pink and white so i ended up getting these because i'm going to be hanging them from the roof as well as getting some white ones that will be also be hanging from the roof and then i got some big mint ones as well and then we also got this variety pack here. So I'm going to be kind of just making this. I'm going to be placing these literally like on top of the table and just kind of throughout the house. So that, you know, it's nice, fun, vibrant, and it's just something cute. So these are the decor. And then, of course, I just got um, two tablecloths because we're going to be placing two tables together so that everyone has a seat. Which I also have to get chairs today. Lord God, Jesus, help me. Okay, so this place, you guys, I'm super excited to tell you guys about, unless you guys already know about it. If you do, you have been blessed. If you have not, if you live here in Tallahassee, they literally just opened on Friday here at Governor Square Mall, and I am obsessed, you guys. I'm freaking obsessed. So this place is literally like a Ulta, I would want to say. Yeah, I think it's a good comparison to Ulta, and more so like it has the same setup as I want to say Sephora, but not as bougie and uptight. And what I mean by that is they sell... They don't necessarily sell high-end makeup um, products or cosmetics, but they also don't sell drugstore cosmetics. So, so they carry brands such as Lime Crime. I saw some Stila in there. Um, and a lot of other brands that I've never really heard about, but they look super, super, super cool. A lot of palettes also that you see online. So I want to say it's more so cosmetics that you will find online. It's called Riley Rose. And oh my gosh, you guys. Let me just show you guys what I got. So move, starting off with this here so I'm going to be going out of town like I said previously and I needed to bring some makeup brushes and I didn't want to bring all of my brushes it just gets it's just too hectic for me and I had to clean all of those things anyway so I figured when I get a new brush set it comes with a makeup bag I guess I can just take it out of the packaging right okay boom here we go so the brushes are from BH Cosmetics but anyways this is the brush set here it comes with a really pretty nice like leather white bag with rose gold trimming I absolutely love rose gold um in the front of it it just says BH Cosmetics I think this is so adorable it's really nice when you're traveling because like I said I have to bring all of my makeup products all of my makeup brushes with me all the time and everything's just kind of tossed everywhere this way I'm, I'm kind of able to keep my brushes together that for so then I'm not really having to go crazy looking for a specific brush. Everything is in here. So this is the most priciest item that I purchased. This was act this is actually a big tub of glitter. I um I have a dress that I'm going to be wearing on my birthday and I wanted something that's going to be really really fancy for my eyes I'm planning on doing this smoky look with a hint, a hint of glitter so I thought this would be great this is by the brand Lemonhead in Los Angeles this is in the shade birthday cake which is perfect it's so befitting for my birthday <laughs> but this you guys I like they fooled me they fooled me dead on so there was like the smaller one that was like ten dollars in the exact same shade and then they had these bigger ones and so I was thinking okay the small ones are ten dollars the big ones have to be no more than like twenty dollars so let's just go ahead and grab it there was no price on the big ones but this thing you guys retails for thirty two dollars as it holds thirty grams of glitter so it's really not a bad buy. I just, had I known the price, I would have definitely gotten a shade that I think would be much more wearable than this like super pinky holographic shade. All right, last but not least that I got, I purchased from Riley Rose is this BH Liquid Foundation. I, I did swatch it and they, I think I did find my perfect shade. There weren't too many shade options though. I will say that. But I got the shade 219 Golden Toffee. Now one thing I will definitely say is that I'm a stickler for packaging. Like, now if your packaging is A1, 9 times out of 10, I'm more likely to pick up your items. Like I don't know, that's just something that I'm really, really keen on. So when I saw this bottle, I thought it looked super, super like sleek. Really more so high-end than anything else. Um, and the total price for this was actually $9, you guys. Nine freaking dollars. And I was just like, what the heck? Why wouldn't I not try this? Like I need a new foundation. 
why not? This is how many fluid ounces? One fluid ounce for nine dollars, which I guess is not all that bad. Let's make a comparison really quickly. Oh, 30. One fluid ounce. So whenever you purchase the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation, it's literally the same amount as the BH Cosmetics. The MAC is, I want to say, 35, 37, somewhere around those lines. And this, like I said, is $9. So I'm really excited to try it out. The only concern that I have is that I really do enjoy a really bright yellow undertone. Um, as you can see in the MAC Foundation, this is really kind of dull so we'll see we'll try it out maybe i'll do a review for you guys a video for you guys using this foundation like i said it was nine dollars so can't really beat that i spent seventy dollars on these three items and because once you spend fifty dollars or more they bless you with a gift you guys so i'm going to show you guys the gift i did not look in the bag just yet so i don't know what the heck comes in it i just know it's full of products so this is the bag here it's really really cute so i also ended up going to forever 21 because i wanted to get something to wear on my physical birthday while we're doing like activities and whatnot so yeah i just another excuse to spend money so go through that really quickly so first and foremost i got this little fedora here i thought it was super cute it was 12 dollars and some change i want to say 12.90 um and it's just this straw sort of hat with a black ribbon around it i thought this was really really cute and i have a perfect bag to pair with this so it's gonna be litty and then i got this really cute dress i thought this would be super cute for just like the day out for my birthday um there's a lot of ruff, like ruffling going on but it is super form-fitting and it has really cute detailing at the back i don't know if you guys can see that i also got some jewelry so i have a gold like chain that i would just wear every single freaking day and i thought it'd be really nice to pair it with this all right sorry guys my camera started overheating but like i was saying i got this really cute chain it has like a round pendant on it and i thought this was super cute i thought i can just go ahead and pair it with this chain here um i actually want a real chain like this if i can find one let me know if you guys know where i can find one let me know but it's just super cute basic and it, like i said it's just a round little circular pendant on it and then of course i just got some gold bangles just because I'm gonna chunk with it, just what we do. One more place and then we're completely done. I went to this store by the name of Pink Shoe Bag um, in hopes of actually finding some heels for this. I have a certain heel in my mind thinking, something that I actually purchased for my Jamaica trip. There's like these white sandal cork thick pumped heels. I can't really explain it. If I can find a vlog, I'll actually list it down below and I can, you'll physically see. I know exactly what vlog it is. I'll list it down below. You'll physically see the shoe I'm talking about. But I misplaced the shoe and I was trying to find another one. So I went in here, couldn't find one, but I did find something else. So. so I ended up getting just two pairs of sandals and this is what the first one looks like. I thought it was super sleek, super cute and really basic. I can pretty much wear this with just about everything. Nude is just like a go-to shade. So got these. And then the other shoe that I'm about to show you guys is actually a repurchase. Now, I did purchase this already from them. You guys are going to probably be like, Sean, why the heck are you buying this again after my first experience? My first experience, the shoe actually broke. Like, as you can see, let me take this wrapping off. This is what the shoe looks like. It's super cute. It's like a jelly material, so super flimsy, super, super comfortable. Let me say that. Like, when I wore these, I was comfortable as heck. But they have gold trimmings on them, and I pretty much... Yes, Ma! I, my mom's just here she just came to the house bad thing about giving your parents your house key but anyways um it has this gold trimming on it and i thought it was super cute but they actually broke on me that this chain right here physically broke off the shoe so i decided to go get another pair so that's all yeah you want to say hi i'm moving in you're you're definitely not today is wednesday it's number day two of my vacation slash birthday week I think, did I show you guys? Yeah. I didn't show you guys last night. Our table, our setup. <laughs> show them the house. Yeah, I'm not showing you guys the house, so it's completely done. But anyway, so let me show you guys what we got, what we're working with. So we're hosting a birthday dinner here for Heidi and I. Um, so I wanted to decorate the house, make it cute and whatnot. I didn't want it to be like just basic and standard. I wanted it to be cute. So at the entrance of the house, I did this little like wall or whatever the heck you want to call this of like balloons and decor so when they walk into this the first thing they're gonna see is the table 
So we're having a candlelit dinner. So I just hung these things up here and then we decorated the table. Let me show you guys up close. This is a little messy. But everyone has assigned seating. And then I just got some plates and some utensils from Martha Stewart. This is from Martha Stewart as well. And then the utensils and the cups are from Party City. Um, so yeah, this is just the table. It's like I said, it's going to be a candlelit dinner. We're going to clean it definitely. It's looking a hot mess right now. But yes. They want to fall off. What, that ball? No, we never hung it up. But yeah, that's what we're doing right now. I'm also baking a cake. So Sharon and I just try to do that. And, um... I'll show y'all when the party come around. But anyways, yeah, that's what we got going on today. Everyone should be coming back a little bit later. I don't know when Heidi's coming. All right, y'all. I'm looking at hot mess right now. Disregard, because I need to do my face some good before I put a pound of makeup on tonight. Um, I'm still cleaning. I managed to get everything outside clean. It looks so cute outside. Destiny just got here from after school, so I'm just watching her until my mom finishes cooking, and I'm just cleaning my room right now. You guys, I might as well just give you a room tour, cause like, or a house tour, cause I don't want to. I want to wait till I'm done, but I feel like it's gonna take forever in a day for me to get this house done. Anyways, turn that down and turn this down. But like I said, yeah, I'm just cleaning right now. Sharon and I need to start packing because we are going to be leaving tomorrow after she finishes class. <sighs> this is a lot. This is a lot. How can everybody put you in the leg? So, like, so the leg does the same ooh, thing. Ooh, you just move ooh, you yeah. do different things. With... Sharon, I'm done. Dance! <laughs> so hi to your show. No. You want to vlog? Mm. Go tell mommy to dance for you. So I have to show you what she just <laughs> learned. Mommy, okay. dance for me. Mommy, dance for me. Oh my god. It goes to the shoot. Okay, come this way if you're gonna vlog. Is he recording right now for real? Yes. Well, he's dancing. Daddy, say cheese. She's down the street and she's always the last one to answer or come. 